Hello everyone, this is your weekly astrology forecast along with zodiac messages. And this is for the week of June 23rd. So let's get right into it. I have already pulled cards for each sign. For each sign, I'm just going to mention what's going on with the planets quickly. So basically, this week is going to be a pretty easy week as far as what's going on with the planets we have venus in an opposition to jupiter and that is an energy where you will want to take it easy okay uh, the only thing to watch out for is that you might be inclined to um overindulge in sweets drinking things of that nature and then on the 24th, we have Venus in a square to Neptune. And that is a great energy for romance, okay? Other than that, we have we are in Mercury pre-shadow period, okay? We went into the Mercury pre-shadow period on June 20th. And Mercury is actually going to be retrograde on July 7th, okay? Now, Neptune went uh, retrograde on June 21st, and it will be retrograde through November 26th, okay? So, when Mercury, when Neptune goes retrograde, it's an energy where a lot of people will be receiving reality checks. Now, let's get into this, the Zodiac messages. Okay, so Aries, you have the star card this week. So a lot of Aries are going to feel very optimistic this week. You might even, um, a lot of Aries will be receiving healings this week. So that's really great. Now moving on to Taurus. Taurus, you have the temperance card this week. Okay, so for a lot of Taurus this week, there's going to be harmony in your life. There's going to be a sense of peace and balance. That is for Taurus. Moving on to Gemini. Gemini, you have the four of pinnacles. This is all about a firm foundation. So this is going to be the focus for a lot of Geminis this week. You will be focused on harvest. <clears throat> Excuse me. You will be focused on your harvest. You will be focused on manifesting this week. Okay, building your wealth, basically. That's for Gemini. Now, moving on to Cancer. Cancer, this week is going to find you doing a lot of planning and having a lot of patience this week. You see that? Cancer, you have the patience and planning card. So that's what you have to look forward to this week, Cancer. Moving on to Leo. Leo, you have the universe card. This is going to be a great week for a lot of Leos. Also, Mercury is moving into Leo on the 26th this week. So we are getting ready for Leo season, all you Leos out there. Moving on to Virgo. Virgo, you have the temptation card this week. So you might be exposed to um, partake in too much drinking, too much eating, um, too much sleeping. Just watch and be careful not to overdo anything this week, Virgo. Now, moving on to Libra. Libra, this month, or really not this month, but this week you have the Hanged Man card. You have the Sacrifice card. So a lot of Libras might be called to make a lot of sacrifices this week. Okay, just be prepared. Be prepared to make a lot of sacrifices this week, Libra. Okay. And it's going to require you to have a lot of patience as well this week, Libra. Okay, moving on to Scorpio. Scorpio, this is going to be a great week for you. Look at this. You have the Fulfillment of Wishes card. So a lot of Scorpios are going to feel like this week is their week. That is great. That's something to look forward to. Now, moving on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius. <clears throat> excuse me a lot of you single Sagittarius out there you're going to have a great dating life if you are in a relationship your relationship is going to go really well look at this you have the spiritual union card okay that's for Sagittarius so this week looks really great for Sagittarius especially in the area of romance 
Moving on to Capricorn. Capricorn, you're going to be making a lot of financial decisions this week. Okay. And remember, this is a general reading. So if something does not resonate with you, don't think about it too much. This is for entertainment purposes only. But for Capricorns, a lot of Capricorns out there are going to be going through a lot of financial changes this week. Okay, moving on to Aquarius. Aquarius, this week looks great for you. Okay, you have the Four of Wands and this deals with uh, harvest. You are going to feel like you are being, like you are making the right decisions in your life. You're going to feel successful. You're going to feel like you are just moving towards your harvest. This is your harvest season for a lot of you Aquarius out there. Now, moving on to Pisces. Pisces, you have the Five of Cups. And this can deal with a sense of loss or you might feel like you are missing out on opportunities this week. Okay, this is for Pisces. You have the Five of Cups. It deals with emotional loss. Okay, now this has been the general reading, the general zodiac messages for each sign. I'll show you what each sign has again. Aries, you have the star card, which talks about hope. Taurus, you have the patience card. Gemini, you have the firm foundation card, which talks about building wealth. You, Cancer, you have the patience and planning card. So this week is going to be filled with a lot of patience and planning for you. Leos, you are rocking it this week. You have the universe card. The universe is answering all of your wishes. Leos are going to have a sense of fulfillment and complete completion this week. Virgo, stay away from any temptation this week. Libras, you have the sacrifice card, so you might be called to make some sacrifices this week. Scorpio is going to be a great week for you. You have the fulfillment of wishes card. Sagittarius, romance looks great. You have the spiritual union card. Capricorn, you might be going through some financial changes this week. Aquarius, everything looks great for you as well. Pisces, some of you Pisces might be dealing with an emotional loss this week. So that has been the reading for the week of June 23rd. This is Citrine Shaka. I'm also known as D. And if you would like to contact me, here's my contact information metaphysicalmoonlighters.com you can also email me at citrineshaka at gmail.com if you would like a reading until next week everyone enjoy your week